Hello, it's Sebastian Danicic here again. So we're on to week two now. The first question says, does this program give duplicates? Point it at this website to see. So there we are. We're going to run the program pointing at this website. And it's put it's printing out all the links in this website. And um, we can see let's look for duplicates let's look for duplicates can we see any yes look there's uh, HTTP local OCIC and there's the other one that one and that one are both the same so we've got duplicates so this week we're, we're learning about sets and the whole point of sets is that you you don't have unlike lists you don't have duplicate elements you only have one of each element in a set so um, that's one of the main differences between um, between uh, sets and lists. So let's have a look at um, a particular sort of set called a hash set. So again, we'll look at the uh, the Java API and see what we've got here. We've got class ha hash set. Again, it's in java.util. Uh, we've got some similar constructors that we had with array lists. Uh, so there's the normal one with no parameters. There's one where we give it a um, a collection, and it will create a copy of. Uh, it'll be have a hash set consisting of those elements and a copy of it. Um, and here we see the method. So we've got similarly, we've got um, add, which adds a particular object. Um, and we've got other thing. Notice it in it. Um, it inherits certain other useful things from set add all which we ha which we've um, talked about when we talked about lists uh, so that's like union uh, there's um, retain all which we'll see is a bit like intersection and we can check whether two sets are equal etc so now let's have a look at um, week 2 test2.java So here we've declared. This is very similar to the um, the program that we uh, were looking at uh, just now called Test One, which uh, prints out all the um, links from a particular URL. But this time we've declared a hash set S, which we initialize to an empty set. And in our in our loop, which um, goes through the links, what we do is we simply add each link to our set s now because sets uh, don't contain duplicates when na when we add something if it's already there then it's not going to change what's in the set so now if we run this program on our um, on on the same on the same uh, pointing it at the same URL that we had before we should see that there are no duplicates this time so what we're going to do is um, run test 2 on the same program and this time it's printing out a list a set of all the um, links uh, it's quite hard to see here but the set as you can see it's much smaller than when we printed them out before that's because it's only um, it's only putting each one in once because it's a set rather than a list Uh, the next thing we do is we um, what I wanted you what I want you to do first is I want you to um, do it with lists and then later we'll do it with sets. I want you to create a file, a create a class where you put all your useful list methods. So I've done one here already. So. Um, Here's my f uh, class called lists, and I'm putting uh, my 
methods, my useful list methods, my non-destructive um, functions which return lists. So here's the append one and here's the reverse one. And uh, I'm going to put this um, this class somewhere in my class path so I can refer to it wherever I like. And as I, as I um, think of new useful list functions, I'll add them to this class. So um, I want to test my list. I want to test those things. So what I've done is I've created a file called test list. That's in week one, sorry. Um, where we are calling our methods in our test list, in, in our lists uh, class that we've just defined. So here I've introduced, I've declared a new array list T. I'm adding one and hello to it. And here I'm calling the append function, the append method in our lists class. And because we've put the lists class in our, in our um, class path, this will work. So here we're calling the, the append method in our list class and here we're calling the reverse method in our list class. So it'll, so we're, what are we doing? We're, we're, um, we're um, taking t. We're appending t and the reverse of t together. So let's see what that happens when we run it. So it does one hello, hello one, because um, hello, the reverse of t will be hello one, and t is still one hello, so we get one hello, hello one. So let's just try another one. So let's try another one which is similar to this where we say um, so we we reverse T and then we reverse it again So if we reverse it, and we reverse it again, and print out the result, we end up back w back where we started. So we could even reverse it once more. So we, I'm going to call lists dot reverse on all that, and I'm going to compile that and run it. And so now we reverse and we reverse and we reverse. So that's the same as just doing a reverse. So we get hello one again. So uh, this is a very useful thing where we just, we build up our class called lists with lots of useful methods. Then we can use them in all our other programs because we've put um, lists, the class lists in our, in our class path. In the next uh, video, we'll do exactly the same thing, but this time with hash sets.